welcome to AndroidTouchPC.com. This is the Touch 8 firmware upgrade tutorial. If you've purchased the downloadable version or purchased the 8GB mini SD card loaded with the Touch 8 firmware, both options will come with a zip file labeled Touch 8. On that zip file, first thing you want to do is extract it to your PC these two folders and two files extract off of them to your desktop whatever zip file program you use you're just going to zip them right to your desktop which I've already done the four files that we have is the application APK folder USB driver folder and the actual image the USB driver folder would be the first step if you haven't done it before you must make sure that the Android tablet has the drivers installed on the PC in order for the PC to recognize your Touch 8. Okay, so if you haven't done that, make sure and, and install those drivers beforehand. We're not going to cover that in this tutorial. The other folder, APK, these are files that can be installed after the upgrade. The main one being Adobe.apk, that's the Flash to get your Android Touch 8 to run Flash. This is the actual image file, update.app, and this is the, the loader program that we programmed and developed. Let's go ahead and run that right now. This is going to install an application on your PC. Take a second to load. There you go. All done. It has loaded a program in your programs folder under the folder named Android Touch PC Touch 8 Updater you're going to go ahead and run that and this is the actual loading program you have two options you can do a backup of the image on your Touch 8 or you can flash your Touch 8 you can do either of these two options via USB or, U or Wi-Fi either one, USB or Wi-Fi this tutorial we're going to do USB now if you hit USB the purpose of that is to determine if your device is actually connected to the PC or not. Device not detected. So my tablet is not currently connected to the PC. So what you got to do before we do that is go to your update.app. You're going to copy that file over to your 8 gigabyte mini SD card. Once you've copied the update.app file to your mini SD card, you're going to insert that into your Touch 8 and boot it up. You don't have to hold any buttons, no recovery modes, anything like that. You're just going to boot it up as you normally would while the 8 gigabyte mini SD card loaded with the update.app file is on that. Okay. Once you've booted up, you're going to connect the USB cable that came with your Touch 8, the USB cable directly to the Touch 8 at the bottom, which I'm doing behind the scenes. And that little sound you just heard right there it was the connection. And now I'm going to check to see, and you can see my found tablet. Okay? That signifies two things. My drivers are installed on my PC. My tablet is on and it's connected via USB. That's yeah. step one. Make sure that you're connected. Now the second thing yeah. before we go to step two is make sure that you have a static wallpaper on the Touch 8. Yeah. If you have a live yeah. wallpaper and you do the flash or the upgrade, you're, gonna you're going to brick your unit. Alright, moving right along. Now that you're connected, now that your update.app is on the 8 gigabyte folder, we're going to go ahead and do a flash. Once you hit flash, a timer is going to pop up. This complete process takes exactly 20 minutes. Do not reboot, do not reset, do not touch your Touch 8 tablet during the course of these 20 minutes or you will brick your unit. Okay? 
what you can do during these two minutes is you can unplug it from the USB and you can plug it into a charger because it does take a lot of batteries to do this. Uh, make sure your, your Touch 8 is fully charged for this process. I should have said that at the beginning, but oh well. So there's your timer. It's going to count down to 20. Once it counts down to 20, you have to do a hard reset on the Touch 8. That requires a, a pin or a small staple or something that you're going to actually do a hard reset, which is the little pinhole next to the power adapter cord, and then you'll do a hard reset. That will be covered in tutorial part two, and we'll see. <laughs>